Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the strings in C++. Now if you know that a string is nothing but the collection of characters, you know, which are terminated with a null character. In C, we were using the header file called string.h in our program and, uh, you know, we were declaring the character arrays to store the strings. So in C++ we have a header file called string and to include that you guys need to write hash include and string that's it and if you guys want to use the string.h header file from your C then you guys need to include the header file C string you know this C string is a new type of header in C++ which contains all the features available in the string.h header file from C all right in this tutorial we're not going to use that so i'm going to delete that all right a string is a array of characters or a sequence of characters which are terminated with another character in c we have the string header file which allows us to use the strings more easily and if you want to create a variable in your program to store a string value then you just need to write string and then the variable name similar to declaring any other variables for example let's say a name and then i'm gonna initialize that to initialize we're gonna use the assignment operator but uh, if you guys have any programming experience in c then you know we can't do this in c we need to use a function called strcpy and then we need to specify the values and the location you know where we want to save etc etc but in c plus we have a more simpler way to initialize the strings so we're gonna use the assignment operator and then the name let's say anil and also in c plus we can uh, perform the operations on strings very easily for example if you want to concatenate two strings then we don't need to use any functions like str cat you know like in c we can use the addition operator and uh, and we can uh, concatenate the string and also if you want to compare two strings then we can use the equal to operator so i'm going to demonstrate that right now so the next thing that we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create another variable let me call it as string last name and uh, it's going to be shetty because i'm shetty okay and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to print out the values so it's going to be c out and it's going to be name and let's add a space in between and then last name all right okay now i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run you guys can see anil shetty so it's very easy to declare the variable to store the strings and also uh, as in a string to a string variable and the next thing that i want to teach you is about concatenating the strings let's say we have another variable called uh, string full name and if you wanted to concatenate this name and last name or anil shetty then uh, you guys can do that so i'm gonna save the concatenated string in this full name so it's gonna be full name equal to name which is going to contain anil and we're going to use this plus as a concatenate operator and uh, if you want to add any space we can do that so i'm going to use the space there and again plus last name so this full name variable is going to contain anil space shetty anil shetty and uh, just to demonstrate that i'm going to add a new line here and i'm going to print full name and also don't miss this stream insertion operator i'm gonna build and run this okay we have an error okay i spelled this wrong it's gonna be full name so i'm gonna build and run so you guys can see anil shetty anil shetty and the next thing is about comparing two strings so here we can use the equal to operator to demonstrate that i'm gonna use if It's gonna be name equal to double equal to just remember that and we're gonna compare name equal to anil and we're gonna say name mat else we're gonna say name mismatch 
and uh, we're gonna delete this and I'm gonna save this now I'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see name match and if I change this one to let's say Anjali and I'm gonna build and run this it says name mismatch so uh, C++ offers a more easy way to work with the strings so to use strings in your program we need to include the string header files to our program and uh, to perform the basic operations such as concatenating two strings we're going to use the plus operator and to check the equality of two strings we're going to use the equal to operator so this is it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial